guys so today we are going to be covering advanced tutorial m creator procedures and functions i have already opened m creator and created a workspace here i assume you have two if you haven't please pause the video after you have created a workspace then continue the tutorial and then we are going to first add the procedure procedure so we are going to name it on game start then so on game start is just the name for, uh, to this for this uh, procedure to run when the game starts we have to specify a trigger a trigger is something that triggers the trigger is obviously the uh, condition trigger that triggers this proce procedure when the condition is the when the condition is returned true this uh, this procedure will be executed so first we have to specify a trigger here uh, let's see mm, let's see minecraft loads a world it must be uh, minecraft uh, when player yes it must be when minecraft loads a world so that's cool so what i want to do here is i want to send a message to the chat saying hello simple so uh, 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 right to this uh, after this procedure templates you can see this little text box here insert command and select the first one under world management so uh, you can just ignore this one right here so the command we need to uh, run is tell row so what tell row does is it sends a message to the chat but uh, without a name tag so uh, when you send a message to the chat in minecraft your name your username gets displayed left uh, to the left of the chat so tell row doesn't do that uh, if you specify a message this uh, message gets sent but without your username so at everyone everyone means uh, every player if you uh, set this to at everyone it will not work at everyone includes every mob in the world at uh, a is at every player so i'm just going to say hello world so um, when minecraft loads the world the hello world command the hello world will be sent to the chat but i want to do something more than that if you go right here um, let's see um we'll create a new achievement first we'll create a new achievement here advancement started game so I want when the uh, Minecraft loads the world, I want to give the player this advancement. So uh, no need anything. We will just specify a wood block here as the advancement icon. So uh, we don't need to specify anything here. Um, nothing. As you can see custom trigger select this type here uh, under utility triggers you have to select the custom trigger then we can we will be able to uh, execute this uh, when the when the trigger is ex when the procedure is executed uh, this uh, advancement will be granted granted so uh, save the mod element or advancement must have description let's say uh, given when the player starts or reloads the game so save the save it so on game start go back here so uh, let's just search advancement here so advance hmm where is it and uh, player add achievement okay here add achievement to event target entity leave it as it is custom started game 
so uh, it's already specified don't worry about that so save the mod element oh okay external trigger you selected does not provide all the dependencies your procedure requires so when minecraft loads a world uh, some uh, chunks are left unloaded so the xyc must uh, is not uh, supported so we cannot do this called minecraft loads a world so we can do it when uh, let's see Hmm. When player wakes up, that's good. When uh, with the when the player wakes up, we can just say uh, good morning. Pretty easy. So uh, when the player wakes up, this will say good morning. So and uh, we cannot say started game advancement here. We just have to say. Slept through the night uh, when the player given when the player wakes up. Okay, save the mod element and you can save this one too. And there will uh, the greater tasks uh, when the greater tasks tasks are complete, we can uh, continue with our uh, mod testing. So let's wait for them to complete. Hmm, what is this? After a very, very, very quick fix. So here we are. It, it's built successfully. So let's run the client right here. Two thousand years later. We are finally back uh, with Minecraft here. Select single player. So you won't have any worlds here. This is not your normal uh, Minecraft. This is cracked. This is only used for uh, uh, mod testing purposes. I hate this sound. Let me just go and uh, turn it off. Single player. I have already tested this mod. So it has this world called 75 years later. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's see. Mm, okay, as you can see, good morning here in the chat. Dev has made the advancement slept through the night. So it works. So, what happens if I sleep again? Let's check it. I haven't really uh, checked it. Time set night. Okay, let's sleep again. Mm, okay. Okay, it doesn't give you the advancement. That's the that's only a one timer, but it says good morning, which is good. Okay, actually this is a structure block. Just ignore it. Anyway, so I hope you learned something in this video. Of course, we are we are going to uh, do some more things. I just wanted to <coughs> check if you learned anything. And uh, let's just specify another um, uh, on game start thing. So then we are going to, uh, you, as you can see, this is just a blank white uh, text here, but we can color it up with color codes. Yes, Minecraft has a list of color codes here. And this is, uh, you, you have to enter this code before uh, the text here. Then uh, the entire text will be in red okay i think i have a good morning message i need a good morning message here so yes uh, let's create a function for that we cannot uh, just uh, duplicate this and uh, run the command run the command over and over again so that's what functions are for so what's a function you know minecraft commands tell row sleep our favorite command yet game mode creative anyways so functions uh, it's actually uh, a file there's fi the file extension mc function it means uh, in that uh, file you have a list of minecraft uh, commands so when the function is executed using the slash function command uh, that uh, code inside the mc function file will be executed 
so uh, let's try it so go to workspace sorry plus um, function we are going to name it good morning msg msg means message so enter the function called here so we are going to uh, say tell row at a so uh, first we are going to do this in uh, blue so i know this process is a little bit boring oh good this process is a little bit boring so uh, i'll skip to the part where i actually uh, have uh, written this code here two very boring minutes later as you can see here i have completed the code here so first it will tell in the color blue good morning then in the color gold it is time to wake up and follow your dreams pretty lame in color uh, in uh, red here's something to cheer you up then it will instantly set the time to night and it will summon a firework rocket at the position of the minecraft player and it will when it uh, shoots up to the sky it will create a star that flickers and uh, it will be the duration of three seconds and uh, uh, duration will be 60 ticks it means th uh, 3 seconds and it will flicker in the sh it attend and it will flicker that's a pretty advanced command how do i uh, make it actually i used a command generator it is a dig minecraft firework rocket uh, the command generator the select the command to uh, type to someone lifetime so 20 ticks equals one second so 60 ticks equals three seconds so I just ignore this one star shape star shaped this is why i want it to flicker trail means it will uh, light up the path that the firework went i want the star to be yellow and fade color to be red so generate the command here so remove the one here it's no need then uh, save the mod element here and then when on game start search here function run function okay here okay run function namespace function Ter uh, terracraft is the project name it means that's the namespace terracraft what was it let's just see a uh, function namespace uh, here it is Terracraft Good Morning MSG. <coughs> oh my god. Okay, good morning MSG. Okay, uh, save it, save and keep open. So uh, let's just uh, check it out after this build task is completed two very boring minutes later after another boring build so we are finally here we are just going to uh, run this minecraft client we are back in the game so uh, let's check it out another uh, we are going to sleep again and wake up so first i'm going to take away that ad uh, advancement we just got okay advancement revoke uh, dev uh, okay anyway okay that's a lot of advancements anyway so let's sleep so let's just wait yay actually the fireworks didn't wake up work at all so uh, let's just fix that qu real quick uh, let's just uh, uh, delete this time set day thing here no 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 the firework thing is actually unnecessary let's uh, create another procedure to uh, get the firework thing going like uh, I don't know actually the firework thing is really unnecessary uh, actually we just uh, can uh, delete these two lines 
if you want to see how the firework is uh, act, uh, acting so let's just uh, use the command block okay command block paste it always act to done okay it didn't actually do anything why 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 after all i have done why oh my god let's just build up and see what happens let's just cover this thing okay, now. okay okay that's a lot of fireworks it looks kind of beautiful anyways just just <laughs> it actually looks kind of beautiful so the press uh, the command work the procedure worked so i guess you learned something new in this video if you did make sure to uh, hit that like button and subscribe button please sub subscribe because i am uh, really low on subs and I, my recent video got a lot of views and if you if you wish minecraft uh, hardcore was harder i did a video on how to uh, a mod on uh, how to uh, make hardcore even harder so uh, if you guys are like interested oh this look at this slowly wandering away if you guys are interested please um, go check it out so uh, yeah that's it for today i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time bye